Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my biggest beef with some of the members of the Magic the Gathering community. And it comes down to a lot of times people are just not honest. And so Chaz Andreas, he is a writer from Star City Games. And he writes articles on MTG Finance behind a paywall. So to read his articles, you have to pay money to see them. He also writes a bunch of articles on for Magic the Gathering. Recently, he wrote an article demeaning and belittling Jeremy from Unsleeved Media, which of course Jeremy is not going to take lightly. Uh, he says, this is the second employee of yours to engage in this. Add one terrible hit piece about me to the list. Feels like targeted harassment. So at this point, it's pretty crazy what's going on. It's that these people who are on Magic the Gathering's payroll, at a minimal, a paid freelancer, is taking opportunities to attack Jeremy, but not a meeting that they are on Wizard of the Coast payroll. So we had a discussion about is a plane ticket payment, is it not payment, um, is free product payment? I believe it is. I believe if Wizard of the Coast is sending you free product, you are being paid by them because you otherwise would go out and buy them, buy the product, or maybe you don't buy the product, but don't give a great review on the product if you weren't going to buy it with your own money. And that is my biggest pet peeve about this whole sponsorship thing. And it goes back to the monthly magic box where they said legit, I mean, Tolarian Weds and all these people who sponsored them, <laughs> who ran the monthly magic box that scammed many, many of their subscribers of their hard earned money said that they were not, they don't consider it a sponsorship because it's, they didn't get money, but they got the free box. And this is, kind of the crazy part. Chaz is getting paid by Wizards of the Coast to write articles, and then he's attacking Jeremy. So in a way, someone, a vendor, at the minimal, a 1099 vendor is attacking Jeremy who's been paid by Wizards of the Coast, but he's not saying that he's a vendor. They want you to feel like they're unbiased. They want you to feel like they're just an average Joe. The average Joe doesn't make $200,000. Right? Does the average player make that much money? No. Does the average player get, what was that, 5,000 new members times $3? That's what, 1.5 million Pico points? So the average Joe gets like 600 Pico points. The average YouTuber like Weds gets about 1.5 million Pico points when they sign up. I think you, maybe the average person gets 300 Pico points, 150, something like that. Well, if you sign up 5,000 people, you get all those Pico points, right? And now your experience is very different. So a very large YouTuber was on record for saying that he loves Pico Trade because he just gets cards for free. And that's what it would be. So it was kind of ironic to see, you know, Tolarian and Weds, and they were always promoting on their Twitter the packages they would receive, packages they, they would send out. But they have infinite, infinite amount of points. They couldn't even spend... Well, I mean, they did spend the points. I'm not going to lie. They spent the points. They cast out. Because you can go on their Pico profiles right now, at least for Wedge, and you ask, where do all the points go? He only has like 4,000 or something. Maybe a little more. But at one time, he had 5,000 times all these bonus fees that he gets for signing all those people up times whatever else he has on top of it because he's such a... He sent so many people. Like, what would you pay for 5,000 customers? A lot of points. So the, the whole I'm unbiased, I'm a normal person. No, the normal Magic player does not make $200,000. The normal Magic player is not flown out to, G, to London and put up on, in London. The normal Magic player is not paid. I mean... There's so many of these things that like people get offended. Like I know they get offended because this happened with the mo monthly magic box. When I say paid, and they're like, oh, well, I wasn't paid cash. Well, you, you paid a free plane ticket. Uh, your patrons are probably, you know, you're making videos on it. So the patrons are, quote, paying for this production. And you're being paid YouTube revenue when you do post that video. And I mean, at the end of the day, like you're getting paid. Like, I don't care. Like somehow $200,000 made somehow. Like, it's not just magical, and it was like, oh, here, here's some money. 
no, you, you made it by doing something. And a, a plane ticket to London is not cheap. It's so the definition of paid versus non-paid for a lot of YouTubers is kind of scary. Uh, and when people like Chaz, who's behind a paywall in Star City Games, um, starts attacking uh, individual Magic players, I think they have to realize that they are representing their brand. They publish articles. They are known for the brand. And at the end of the day, like, just say it. Like, what? What's the 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 crazy part the part that drives me insane is they can still do everything they're doing just say it just say i'm a wizard of the coast employee and this is how i feel don't sit, pretend that you're not a wizard of the coast or don't omit that information write an attack piece why like it, it doesn't take much away from it just admit admit that you got the free product admit that you had i'm seeing people tell me that um, people, that YouTubers, I'm not gonna segment into one person, they are, they tell the subscribers if they're getting free products. Maybe that's new, but I, I don't know how many Pico points the Weds or the Manasaurus or Tolarian have received. Do you guys know? Have they, have they made that announcement in one of their videos? Because that's the key here. The key is how much did they get? Right? How much did they get? And for Puka Points, we will never know. For the monthly Magic Box, they have told me, I have been told that no one has been paid to promote the box and they were just promoting it for the hell of it. Which is insane. If you think about it, they're promoting this scam to their user base and they're not even getting quote paid they're only getting free boxes but that was what magic the gathering and youtubing was like early on is that no one was paying youtubers for anything and then suddenly all this money came in and the money is in the channel fireball is paying money wizard of the coast is paying money people are paying money to youtubers now and i want you to know that yes youtubers are going to behave differently if they're paid and yes, a YouTuber is going to have a different opinion about Channel Fireball if Channel Fireball gives them a good time in London. Who wouldn't? If I flew you out to London right now and on my dime and all you had to do was play Magic, would you love me or what, right? Here's $5,000. Here's a trip. Enjoy it with your family. You would love it, right? You would love Channel Fireball. You would love MTG Line if I do that. So is it correct to say that Tularian and Wedge or any of these YouTubers can ever be really unbiased? Or if Wizard of the Coast paid you, you and you're expecting to get paid more in the future? And that's the second key. It's not what you get paid today, it's what you expect to get paid in the future that these people are playing towards. I mean, okay, we flew uh, the professor to London. What if we fly him to Brazil? Or what, what if we fly him to any of our GPs in Tokyo and we give him a stipend? I mean, wouldn't the professor have to act a certain way to try to maximize his ability to fly to different places with Channel Fireball? Wouldn't he want this to be, you know, wouldn't he want to be positive about Channel Fireball? He can't make a video negative about it and expect to be flew, flown out. He can't. And that's the harsh reality is a lot of people on YouTube are, they pretend to be unbiased. They pretend to be non-sponsored, but it's really easy. That's why the monthly magic box was quote, a good value. It was never a good value. They knew it. I made it clear time and time again that you could buy all the stuff on Dave and Adams for like pennies. The $20 binder that everyone's saying $20 is like $2 on Dave and Adams on fire sale. The Frost Titan playmat, everyone's saying is like 20 bucks. It's still on sale on Dave and Adams for like eight bucks or seven bucks. And then when you stack coupons, you can get it. And sometimes you give it for free, <laughs> that playmat, because no one wants it. Who would want a Frost Titan playmat? I mean, come on, guys. Like, and their sleeves, the sleeves are just skeletons. That like upsets me most. You're like, so these sleeves are like eight ninety nine. I was like, oh my gosh, who would use them? So anyway. My biggest pet peeve about our community is when someone says they are not 
from Wizard, or they omit certain information. So they're not lying, lying, but they're omitting certain critical information. Like Chaz works with Wizards of the Coast and works with Star City Games. Wouldn't that be interesting information to have in the description before you read his hit piece? I don't know. I think it would be. Bye, guys.